This weekend, this is Congress for the Aryan Nations, and we have a bunch of white power movement people coming in all across the country. And people come here once a year for the white Aryan race to save our children from mongoloids and the Negroes and Jews. The Aryan Nations have promised a supply for the weekend. About 300 people will turn out tomorrow afternoon in the Coraline City Park and come to their Aryan Nations World Congress meeting. The news of the rally did not fit well with protesters who rallied outside the Aryan Nations grounds all day today. Irv Rubin was accused of something turned early today. He says his group plans to stay there all through the night, and he says they're also be there at the park tomorrow. There's a lot of Jews in the background. There's a lot of Jews in the room. If they want to march, they'll march right alongside of them. It's time that this community takes the whole bag of hands and kicks the whole out. We are here now, and the movement is just growing bigger and bigger. And I'm Even the children that look white nowadays are not even white because they've been interbred that it's okay. And our people are not going to be around with that continue. If the blacks want to call us gay for the Jews, I don't care. They have that right. I have my rights. This is a black right of every American has to speak to these white children in America. I don't like to explain nothing because I'm beyond explaining. I'm ready for action. I want war. World War I Germany, with over one and a half million dead and an economy in shambles, chaos with the German psyche was the young Adolf Hitler, chief propagandist of the upstart National Socialist German Workers' Party. Incarcerated after a bold but unsuccessful attempt to overthrow his government in 1923, Adolf Hitler laid out his blueprint for returning Germany to its glorious past. Mein Kampf would make Hitler rich, become a bestseller second only to the Bible, and serve as a blatant promise of blood, both pure and spilled, for a body politic called Nazism. Hitler proposed a world free oh, from communism. The one. state would have totalitarian control with a dictator at its head. He would be called the Fuhrer. Relaying the message would be a perpetual dose of propaganda that would awaken Germany. At the heart of the problem were the Jews, who Hitler believed were controlling everything from communism to the world economy. 
and the means to carry out the doctrine was both non-negotiable and brutal. In 1924, Hitler's plan was printed and bound for all to read. The world had been warned. As their flag, the Nazi party chose an ancient symbol of prosperity and good fortune, the swastika. At first, the swastika would represent a party in tune with the desire of the citizenry. In time, it would become indicative of a nation gone mad. Using anti-Semitism and Aryan superiority as his rallying cry, Hitler was able to convince millions of Germans to sell their soul and ultimately their personal freedom for the promise of a better day. Adolf Hitler, when he went to jail and wrote Mein Kampf, he wrote what he knew. Anti-Semitism was rampant and rife in Germany. What Hitler was able to do was capitalize on that unhappiness and throw some bones. Will you accept anti-Semitism if I give you a job, if I give you a uniform, if I give you a way of life? If I give you something to hang on to, something to bring your children up in and make you feel proud and make you enjoy your life in your community, would you do that? And 70 million people did that. Adolf Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1932. The following year, the Nazi Party with nearly 50% of the vote swept into power during the general election. The German people had made their choice. The Nazis would lead the country back to its so-called rightful place in the world. Nazism had found a hope. Hitler had created for the German people an illusory promise of a glorious future. He had put people into uniform, young men who would otherwise have been working on a lathe or in some kind of assembly line suddenly found themselves in a very glamorous Nazi uniform marching up and down. With the motherland's people in step with the Nazi doctrine, the German economy began to recover. And with a renewed pride, the Nazis began to reach out across the sea to America, where a collapsed economy awaited. Could Nazism possibly gain support in the land of the free? The answer was, incredibly, yes. It guides. It shows. It slides. It toes. It sees. It calls. And it fits. We gave it more ideas for Square Inch, because more is what we do. Introducing the terrain, the all-new smaller SUV from GSC. Uh, made you more, which the was making sure the, the top for your money. Next the front. Next Gen's G201 comes with all Side, this, all for only $39.88, yeah. with 300 bonus minutes included, and service from a JD Power. You want to be here? Well, I'm kind of sick. 